How's all my peoples out there in YouTube land? This is Toledo coming at you from the Wild Wild West. We got an unboxing today. Today I got in one of these holdouts I've been putting off on because I was kind of leery about the handle design. But now they're going for so such a low price on eBay and all the other online sellers of knives. Now I just had to go for it. Bought a whole set. This is the first one to get here. This one's off of eBay. Let's first talk about the specs a little bit. So we get all that out the way first. The holdout. Holdout 2. That's the one that we should be looking at today. The blade is 4 inches long. Overall length is 9 inches. Weight is 4.2 ounces. Thickness is 3.5 millimeters. That's for the blade. Thickness 3.5 millimeters. The blade steel is Oz 8, AUS 8, AUS 8A. Cold steel is proprietary stainless steel that they use in most of their knives, most of their folding knives, especially. Okay, now we got that all done. That's coming from the Lynn Thompson Special Projects, number 45, 2014 catalog. Okay, this is my uh, cold steel. Counterpoint one that I polished out. I guess the honors of opening up the box. Box looks excellent. No dings or bangs on the box. That's always a good sign. Very good. I don't know all the particulars about this one yet. I have to find out a little bit more. Looks like we got a that's a heat treated aluminum backspacer. It's probably 6061 aluminum back backspacer, just like the recons and all the other G10 models. It's got the jimping on the spine. I like the way the handle feels. Very nice looking. The blade's supposed to be three and a half millimeters thick. It looks definitely, it looks like a thick three and a half millimeters. Almost looks like it might be a little bit more. I don't know, it feels like my hand wouldn't slide forward on this blade. Actually, because of the American G10, the thick American, American G10 scales, it looks like it's pretty, it has a good, pretty, gri pretty good grip. It's not ambidextrous. Well, you could, you could open it with your left hand, but it's like, a, it's like the Recon 1's large, the large models that I have, where you have to flip the, um, the thumb stud over.
like another stiletto design. Stiletto design that's got the triad lock, G10 scales, and doesn't have any finger guard. But lots of stilettos were made without finger guards. Go check out your Italian stilettos. And lots of them have flat grind bit blades like this too. They used to call them a standard blade. It was like the standard issue stiletto blade for uh, stiletto switch blades, Italian knives. I was talking about. This is the backspacer. That's t that looks like aluminum to me. I've heard people say it's Zytel. That's not Zytel. That's aluminum. All the G10 models like this have an aluminum backspacer. I've never seen one with a Zytel backspacer. The Zytel backspacers are the ones with aluminum liners or steel liners. Like the Raja series, the Counterpoint series, the Voyager series. Those all have the aluminum liners or steel liners, and like the the uh, Spartan. Those have the different backspacer. I guess you don't need the aluminum backspacer if you have the heat treated aluminum or steel liners. I like it. It's just let's not like let's not like, like, like owning a recon. It's very nice. Highly recommend it. Looks like a very good blade. Like it. Can't wait to get my other two. When I get my other two, I'll do videos on those two and let you guys see the boxing of those. And that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stiletto out. Peace. Oh, wait a minute. You forgot to weigh it, huh? Let's see how much it weighs. Mine says four ounces. Four ounces exactly. All right, fellas. That's it. We'll see you. Peace.